Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove knots or single knots, strands out of your hair. Stay tuned. As you can hear from my voice, no, I am not excited about this video because this video was made due to the, the neglect, the pure sheer neglect of myself. I know what to do for my hair and this is just pure neglect, too busy to take care of my hair and this will help in a lot of your journey. So I want to show you a real video of real life. So here we are, I've just added some olive oil to my hair, excuse me, and I'm massaging it into my scalp. You have to excuse me, I'm, I'm starting to get a cold so my voice is not um, up to par. Right here, I have some warm water that I've just squirted onto my hair. Warm water is so important for low porosity hair because it really helps in the absorption as well as the distribution of products. Sometimes you can just add water and it will reactivate products and you don't have to add new products. But here I'm using it to help with the detangling process. Never, never, never detangle on dry hair. You're asking for breakage excuse me right here what I'm doing is that I'm allowing for the hair to naturally separate and I'm pulling the hair seeing where it wants to naturally separate now because of the size of my hands and the angling it may seem as if that I'm gripping or I'm pulling at a more stronger force than I actually am but I'm really not I'm allowing for the hair to separate exactly where it wants to Just giving it an opportunity to do, to do so. And pulling gently. Gently. Take your time. Now, for, of course, for editing purposes and just for the angling, I've stopped or split this video and showed up a closer angle. But this video has not been sped up or any of the detangling process has been taken out. This is in real time, raw. I want to show you exactly the amount of time that it's going to take to detangle your hair. Now, keep in mind, Excuse me. This is only one section. I had these types of knots all over my hair. Excuse me. And even though, and it was in some areas that there was more hair loss because of the fact of the neglect. And it's going to happen, especially you detangling your hair is so important because your hair is going to lose strands daily. That's just normal. But if you're not taking the time to remove those strands and separate your hair or even wearing it in stretch styles like braid outs or twist outs, something that will cause that will have the hair to be detangled all at once, it will, um, excuse me, it will cause for those hairs to just continuously coil around each other, lock up and lead to this. Case in point, take care of your hair remove the strands and here we are i'm just separating those strands piece by piece removing small sections at a time small sections of hair small sections small pieces taking my time not forcing it just taking my time yes this is a long process but you deserve this you deserve to take time for yourself this is a part of loving yourself and continue to just take small pieces of hair where it normally wants to separate. Because if I would have stopped here and just ripped it, I would have ripped that whole strand along with it. Small pieces where it wants to naturally separate. Small pieces. Don't rush it. And here we are. It finally came out and do you see the pieces at the end? That's horrible, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen to you as well. And here we are, here's a single knot. Excuse me, sometimes for a single knot, that was oil I just put on my hair. Sometimes for a single knot, they will come out if you just pull gently like I just did. But in case they don't, here's another method again, separating them so that they would go and then detangling. Now you see this section is um for the most part pretty much detangled and that's the reason why i finger detangle too if i were to use a comb even a wide tooth sometimes it would have ripped out more hair than normal and there's a single knot i am so disappointed take care of your hair please take care of your hair